Hey guys, today we are looking at a Synology VS360 HD. This is their live view surveillance companion device. Um, so you basically will purchase this if you already have a Synology NAS in place, running their surveillance app application on the NAS. Um, and what this is going to allow you to do, instead of having a dedicated Windows machine uh, running their surveillance app on that, connecting to that NAS, um, and having a machine running 24/7, you know, all that power, depending on what kind of you know computer you're running on that that on, um, you can purchase one of these VS360s, and it uses like four or five watts of power. Um, it's very energy efficient. It can do up to 36 cameras streaming at one time. Um, it does have a VGA and HDMI output, so you can hook it up to a TV, and then you can split it off if you need it uh, more than one TV. Um, I haven't set these up before, so this is a new thing for me, so we're going to open it up and, and go along. Um, flipping this over, as I was just talking, you can see the diagram here. You have your uh, Synology NAS, you have your IP cameras uh, hooked up to that NAS, and then here's that uh, VS360 device that's in this box, and then it shows it hooking up to an actual uh, TV or another monitor that's got HDMI. Let's open this up. And like I said, you can see you got your power jack, one gigabit Ethernet jack, your VGA, and the HDMI. And I believe it does have some USB ports here on the side, reset port. Um, I like this device because it's really tiny, really small, and the fact that it's going to run and stream these cameras to this device without having a need for a computer to do that. So if you have like a wall that has like monitoring your cameras, now you can just buy, purchase one of these devices to do that. And there's our on and off switch and then uh, audio in and out. So let's go ahead and get this powered up and see what we need to do next. Okay, we got our HDMI cable hooked up, our ethernet, our power, and now on our screen we're getting that Synology uh, visual station which is this booting up. And now it's telling us that we need to go into our Synology to pair this device. So it looks like we need to go into surveillance station and then visual station to pair this to the NAS. Okay, so once you've logged into your Synology, go to surveillance station app. Wait for that to load up. Once you go to that, hit your uh, main menu, and we're looking for something that's called visual station. And we do not see that. And if you don't see that, then we need to go to application center. Because that just means that the service is not installed or not run, running. So go to all, and there's our visual station. Click on that. Go ahead and hit run. And then click on open. Then click add. And we can use this finder, which hopefully we'll find it on the network, which it just did. So we're going to select it, hit OK. Looks like the firmware is not compatible, so we need to go back to our VS360 HD. And that's just right here on this other screen. So you hit the settings icon, go to firmware. And it looks like we need to put the firmware on a thumb drive and insert it onto the device to upgrade it. So let's go ahead and do that. We have now gone to this Synology website to the support, went to the firmware for the VS360 HD. We've downloaded the latest firmware, which is uh, 4.3.7. We've downloaded the .pat file. It finished downloading, and we've copied it to a thumb drive, and we've stuck the thumb drive into the device. And now we're going to go back to the screen, and we're going to hit the scan. Okay, and the file name has come up. And that's the correct pet file that we've downloaded from the website. Go ahead and hit upgrade. It's extracting the files from the thumb drive now. And going to be applying that firmware update. So I'm going to pause it here because this could take a little bit. Um, depending on everyone's device, it could take 5 10 minutes. So just be patient. Alright, it is rebooting now. 
Uh, I'll go ahead and pause it again, but it's still working. Okay, so now with the new firmware, basically what it's telling us that the old version was you doing the pairing mode, but if you have the latest version of Surveillance Station, then this is the new setup, so there is no more pairing. Um, and they do do that because now you're going to get the full feature set as far as uh, timeline recordings, um, open up, to make changes on the IP cameras and all that now. So this is why we need to now, uh, we don't need to do this pairing anymore. So we can go ahead and go on the computer, hit cancel, cancel, and close out of here. And then we can go ahead and stop this because since we're going to be running the latest version, if you still want to do the old version, you can still do the visual station, run it, and then pair it that way. Uh, but we want to use the latest version. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just shut that off. And then we're going to log in with our surveillance uh, station username and password. And we're going to put in the IP address for our NAS. So we put in our details here. Go ahead and hit login settings. And there's going to be a couple things you're going to want to check. So you're going to want to show HTTPS because we're going to want to do an encryption, uh, encrypted connection from here to our NAS. Login automatically if it reboots. So we're going to want that checked. And remember login password for a surveillance station. We're going to want that checked. So then if it reboots, it just remembers all the creds and automatically logs in. Um, and then you can see, look at these other settings here. I'm not going to really adjust anything. I set my time zone. And everything else looks like it's fine. So we're going to get it hit save. And then close. And then log in. This is a self signed cert, so that's fine. Proceed anyway. Alright, once you log in, it's going to look just like you were logging on the web interface. And you can go to Live View, you can go to your timeline, you can see everything that you would normally see if you were logging in through your web, which is pretty nice. Um, even going through your recordings, you can see all that. Uh, all your IP cameras, if you need to adjust any settings, that's all right there, which is nice. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's about it. Um, I would not recommend using this if you had more than, I don't know, 10 cameras you wanted to display because I do notice that there's not really much of a GPU in this at all. <laughs> um, and the fact that you're trying to display 1080p, you know, maybe sometimes 4K cameras, uh, I don't, I would not recommend using this. You would still have to use the PC at that point. Um, as you can see, the specs are really not that good with two cores at one gigahertz and 512 megabytes of memory that's garbage um, for the price that you're paying for this um, so I could I definitely not do not recommend this for anything anything over eight cameras really you're gonna have trouble uh, with it just being laggy and not showing real-time footage um, so yeah definitely don't recommend it um, stick with your PC uh, going forward so I ran into a couple of other issues that I didn't talk about. Um, one is the firmware. So even with me installing the latest firmware version on Synology's website, um, which is which is posted just last week, uh, I did that, and now I would would not even connect to my uh, surveillance station because that didn't have the latest version. But when I try to update it, um, that update just released a couple of days ago. And they said it's not available in all regions, as you can see even on this update. Um, so I can't even update my surveillance app to make it compatible to the latest version of the embedded visual station. So I feel like that's kind of convoluted. It's like how can you release a new firmware for something that you don't have the firmware update for the other device out yet to make them all compatible. Um, so I find that baffling a little bit. Um, so just be careful when you update your visual station that you do have the latest version of the surveillance app and to find out is not just logging into your surveillance station but actually going to uh, Synology's website and finding the latest version for that app um, which I think I actually have right here so yes so the latest version is actually 8.2.8 .8, and I have 8.2.7 um, but I don't I can't do this update because there's no update yet for it um, I even gone in here and checked for the update and they're saying there's no update so I don't know what to do at that point 
so you have 8.2.7 so just be careful when you update some of these products and not everything's going to work so that's why I always wait at least a month or so before you do an update uh, just my two cents in that so yeah just be careful